In my previous video, I have already shown everyone how can you do the registration and link your company with the My Invoice Portal. So now in this video, I will guide you on the next step which is Add Intermediaries. What is Adding Intermediaries? I understand most of you here are AutoCount users. You are using AutoCount to submit your e-invoice to LHDM. In order to do this, you have to add AutoCount as the intermediary means you grant permission for AutoCAR to help your company submit e-invoice. First, log in to your MyTax portal. Remember to change the role selection to your company. On top of it, click My Invoice Report. At My Invoice Portal, there is a small arrow on the top right side. Click on it and click View Taxpayer Profile. It will link you to your taxpayer profile. Scroll to the bottom part. The bottom part is supposed to have a table called Representatives which have three sections, user, ERP, intermediaries. Click on the intermediary section and click add intermediary. The intermediary page will appear. You will need to input AutoCount's team, business registration number, and company name. This information already been provided in this PDF. Just key in all these details accordingly. Just to special mention over here, if you are using the live portal, you can just key AutoCount and Jamperhut. But if you are using the sandbox environment, you have to type this name AXXX underscore XXXXDN BHD. Do not type the actual AutoCount's name. After that, click on the search button. You will see some status over here to show you whether this company is still an active company or not. Just click on continue. The next part is for you to set the effective date and permission when you want AutoCAR to represent you to submit e-invoice. Usually, we just put today's date because you want to set up your connection to AutoCAR today. Represent until when, we don't know. If you don't want always come into this portal to change the representation until when, we just put it a few years later. For example, here, I put 2027. So within these few years, I don't have to bother and come in to change the setting. At the bottom part, there are some permissions over here. Take all the permissions and click Add Intermediary. So this is how you add intermediaries in your My Invoice Portal.